Good morning. We are filling our schedule C. So let's move to part five, other expenses. If you are a sole proprietor, a statutory employee, or you are in a qualified joint venture, or you have 1099 miscellaneous, and you need to fill out Schedule C, there is part five, other expenses. So let's see if there is any expenses of yours you need to put in that session. So I'm going to show you my notes and read it through and explain it if that requires more explanation and you will see what I put under part five, other expenses on Schedule C, Form 1040. Let's get to it. Uh, and before we do that, I'd like to remind you that we have, we actually have it here, we have on our website a free download session. If you are trying to pay off your debts, you have a mortgage, you are trying to pay off, we have our mortgage payment log there that you can download for free. We have under budget, I believe budget and monthly expense tracker session where you can download our monthly uh, budget templates. I think the one we have there is not the same type. So you'll be able to change the amount if you are interested. And we have to-do list. That will be great for your business if you need a template to help keep track of your task or your to-do list. So we have, it's just, is similar to this and is on our free download session as well under printable. And when you use our template, we'll appreciate it if you can leave us a feedback to tell us in your impression, your remarks on it, what you think we should improve because those templates will be on our, in our store for sale. So we will make more improvements based on your review, your remarks, what you think, you know, to, to improve our limitations and offer great product to our clients. Thank you. So now, let's take a look at other expenses. What do we or should we include other, under other expenses? Ordin ordinary and necessary business expenses. I will show you shortly what I include in that session for my Schedule C but you just have to make sure that you don't include that elsewhere on your schedule. So you do not include on the other expenses improvement uh, cost to a property that is related to your business. So those improvements are not included there. Sorry. You do not include personal living expenses or family expenses there either. So let's go up a little bit here. And do not include charitable contribution either. So what do we then include in other expenses besides ordinary and necessary business expenses? One of them is amortization. So if you need to include 45CC2. So some of, uh, some of uh, the items that will go on that 45CC2 will be amortization and you will include 45CC2. You will attach it to your form if you are filing it up or if the amortization begins during the past year you are filing Schedule C for or if you are depreciating anything for that year for the first time. 
So why are you going to amortize? Research and experimental. So if you did some research for your business before you started, you just have to make sure that they re uh, you start the business in that year for the research cost to be deducted or uh, amortized starting that year. So those research costs will be amortized and if you are starting it that year, the amortization, you will put it on form 45CC2 and you attach it to your tax return. So after that year, you don't need to attach form 45CC2 unless there is a new item that you are going to depreciate or amortize and it's going to go on that form 45CC2 and you'll attach it for that year. So you just attach it for anything you are depreciating for the first time. So expense incurred related to trademarks and trade names. So if you are clear, you protect, you defend, you register, or you expend your trademarks or trade names, any expense you pay for that year, you will amortize it. And that will go on other expenses. The amount you are uh, amortizing for that year will go under other expenses and you need to know for how long you need to amortize those things as well so we can check on um my notes came from irs or uh, instruction for schedule c and i'm not sure they put there for how long you'll amortize those things so but yeah that's worth checking and goodwill and set certain intangibles so what else needs to go under other expenses at risk loss deduction so if some of your uh, investment is now at risk in that business you are filing schedule c for you may not be able to deduct all your loss so if that's the case prior year you didn't deduct all your loss because of the at risk uh, limitation you can carry them over and the amount you can deduct you are eligible to deduct uh, in the current year you'll include it under other expenses and you just put other at risk loss deduction or whatever how you wanted to uh, narrow it and then you put that amount there so bad debt if you sold a service or a product and you are sure that you are not going to be paid back, but you include before you, you know, you find out that you are not going to be paid back, you include the sell the amount as an income, whether in the prior year or current year. If you are sure that you are not going to get uh you are not going to be paid for that product or service, you can include um that bad debt under other expenses if later year you got paid you just include that amount you got paid in the year you got paid and you include it under income business tax a uh, business startup cost so business startup cost you can deduct up to five thousand dollars as other expense but there is a limitation if your business startup cost is more than fifty thousand dollars what you are allowed to deduct will decrease so there is um if you look at in publication 535 i believe you will see how that uh, limitation apply if your expenses are more than fifty thousand dollars to start your business and so anything that if your uh, startup cost is more than 5000 but less than 50000 you can deduct $5,000 in, in the current year that you're filing the Schedule C. And anything remaining, you have to amortize it over 180 months. Cost of cost to remove architecture and transportation barrier for individuals with disabilities so if you pay uh, 
your expense to uh, yeah to remove some barriers you can deduct up to fifteen thousand dollars or you can claim a credit on form ADA 26 but you cannot claim the credit and deduct the expenses at the same time so you have to choose which one is beneficial for your business diminish dimin the minimis safe harbor for tangible personal property. Usually, tangible, uh, tangible personal property are capitalized, but there is that um, election you can apply for to deduct up to 5000 per item or invoice. You know, if you make some purchases. To produce or to acquire, you know, building equipment, furniture, related to your business, but you have to have a good financial statement that met IRS requirement to be able to deduct that five thousand dollars. Otherwise, you can deduct up to two thousand five hundred per item or invoice. So you can find more on those deductions by reading publication five thirty five. And or you can read instruction from uh, Schedule C, Form 1040, page 15 or 16. That's where my notes came from to see more of uh, deductions. There, I didn't, I didn't recall everything, but what I think most of uh, us business owners will have to face is what I listed here. And try to explain now that we know what we can deduct under other expenses let's go check our schedule C our schedule C to look at page uh, part 5 other expenses so list below business expenses not included on line A to 26 or line 30 and as you can see under ordinary necessary uh, expenses those are what I like to track here and I recall here and on the other expenses for the business that I file schedule C for. So I have a spreadsheet where I track, I recall my fees and my expenses and as you can see some formula here have broken but Let's see if we'll be able to find the reason why we are here. So we have S C fee here. And let's see if I track it elsewhere as well. Otherwise, I'll go back here. Let me see my summary here. I pull the wrong um template probably let me see if I can find a version that I fix already otherwise we can just use that one Let's see if this one is better. Well, it's not. Okay, so SCB's bank fee. So that's what I have that issue. And I think the reason why I have the issue, that's here, is because I needed to remove the formula from this session since I didn't have any cells there the formula didn't apply so and as you can see in fact that's what I was looking for here at the bottom here I don't know if you can see it uh, let me scroll it up a little bit for you so 
So we have SC listing 4.4. So let's go put that on our template here. What they have that SC Fissels listing. So we'll put it here for so let's see what else we can find. SC transaction fee 224. See if you have a spot for that. SC transaction for uh, I'll put two NC transaction fee. So what else can we find on our spreadsheet here? Excuse me. We have bank fee 384 as well. If I have it, I don't know if I have a space for that. Okay, car processing fee. So I will put four. And that gives me 10, right? 10. Let's check my summary here to see. Okay, that's here. Toro SC fee. Do you see it? So, uh, Toro SC fee, 1048. So when you are recording, your, you are filing your taxes, you need to make sure your things are uh, you can tie up your expenses and your income so four four two that's ten so that much so I have material supply and packaging so that's what I like to put those expenses so if we come down here and that's a summary of all my income and expenses that helps me fill up my schedule C when I'm filing my taxes. And as you can see here is $1.94. And that I track it on my inventory sheet as well. If we go down in this section here, supply used to package. Let me move the computer a little bit. If we go all the way to the bottom, And that's the same number here. I think I need to scroll it up a little bit more. But that's that there as well. Here. So 193. Let's go check our form here. So that will be 2. That's how we'll round it. Shipping to customer. We'll go back to our spreadsheet what I track everything. So if we check our summary, shipping to customer, so our shipping cost is 20. So I will put it down as well. That will be 20. And our total here, I can just uh, browse a calculator apps here. And that's 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 2 plus 20. And that gave us 32. So we can check our books to see if our things match here. So we have Toro SC fee here. We have our heading fee here. And we have our shipping cost here. That total to 3257. So we are having 32. So that's good. So that's how you fill up part five other expenses of Schedule C form 1040 and the total 32. If you are not, you cannot see it. Let me lower this a little bit. And the total 32 will go on 
line 27. So let's scroll up a little bit to look for line 27. Line 27, I'll put 32 here. So that's how you fill up this form. Thank you for watching. I'm Afiavi Ojune Libreman, creators of Libreman Consulting LLC YouTube channel and owners of Nina Soap. And our website is ninasoap.com. I'll put the instructions what will go under other expenses that I write to you. I'll put it on my website and you can visit our website ninasoap.com to take a look at it as well. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, please will you click on like and leave us a comment on you know how you'll help us, uh, how you'll want us to improve our video to help you file your taxes. You have a business if you cannot afford to um, pay for a professional to file your taxes for you, it's okay to file it yourself. That helps you know more about what you can deduct, what you cannot deduct, and to be more prepared and know how you should keep record of your expenses so that even if you hire a professional to file your taxes for you, you'll ask the right question to make sure to double check that what you are, what you are eligible to claim has been claimed on your form, on your task. Thank you.